Welcome back, Retro Rivals fans. If there are any. <laughs> Not after this. <laughs> we are doing a video. Well, they're doing a video. I'm just here doing an intro, I guess. And I'm not even sure why. What is this video all about? Maybe if you start watching the channel. I should subscribe. You should. <laughs> you really should. I should become Nobody a subscriber. Nobody has said anything about what the video is about yet, but we go through five different retro games we picked for each other each, and we narrow it down to one. We give the reasons why we picked them, and that's why we're going to do this video. You should watch it. <sighs> Retro. Retro. I'm more excited for this category than I was for modern. Really? Yeah, because it pushes me out of my comfort zone just that little bit more. And I wonder. I wonder. I think if I had to give you a percentage, I think you'll probably nail around the same percentage as you did with the modern. Yeah. I think your guesses will be somewhere around there. Okay. First one. It's on the original Xbox. Okay. Shooter. Okay. Oh, Panzer okay. Dragoon Horda. You were not expecting that one. <laughs> Do you want me to spoil this, my list? <laughs> no. This same idea as like some of the modern ones I picked out is mm -hmm. completely different from anything 100%. you typically play. Yeah, because it's on rail shooter. On rail shooter. Uh -huh. It's pretty damn cool. I really enjoyed the graphics of it. Like it holds up pretty well. And I well. don't tend to pick flight stuff. No. Yeah. It's uh. I, I I would think you would enjoy it quite a bit if you would actually play it. If I, if I put a game in the system, I'm giving it a chance. I never go into a game going, I fucking hate this game. Like, error with bad. Yeah. I, I really try to put time in, and more often than not, I'll play a game even all the way through if I don't like it. <laughs> all right, next one. Close your eyes. Which PS1 game is it? Which PS1 game is it? <laughs> Should I open my eyes? It's not a PS1 game. Okay. Open your eyes. That's a PS... Oh, never mind. Yeah. Skies of Arcadia. Sorry. It's the same jewel case. <laughs> <laughs> now, a couple reasons why I picked this one. I never played a Dreamcast game. <laughs> ever. Ever. It's... A game like Alice Madness Returns is a game, <laughs> shush, it's a game that means a lot to me because yes. this is the game that got me into the RPG genre. Yeah. So, what are you, are you barking at your reflection in the He's TV? He's barking at the dog in Fable 2 that was on the screen earlier when I was playing it. That's what he's barking at. He watched that dog forever and he was also upset Stop. that it was barking. I will kick your butt. Mm. Needy baby, greedy baby. Needy baby, greedy baby. <clears throat> this is a fun video. Close your eyes. <laughs> Which PS game, one game is it? It's not a PS1 game. Which Super Nintendo game is it? I don't know. We could play this game all day. Open your eyes. Oh, Chrono Trigger. Oh, that's <laughs> worth it. She's surprised. <laughs> this is a... Uh, Excellent RPG. Um, I think it would be very um, beginner friendly. Mm -hmm. I think Tom would be very happy. Tom would be very happy. Do You Nerd. Yeah, from Do You Nerd. Yeah. I uh, I love this game. This is this is up there on my top list that I won't pick ever again. Yeah. <laughs> I won't do another top ten list, but this <laughs> is up there. Um, I think you would really enjoy the story of it. Uh -huh. um, the gameplay is fantastic. I can't say enough about it. You know how what I think of it. I know. Yeah. So that's why that is on the list. And comment below if you want Scott to do a top 10 list again. No, no. Or top 10 RPGs. I could probably do that. But when you pick your number one, it's going to be hard. Well, I'm not going to be that excited, but <laughs> it's going to be difficult. Yeah. Do I close my eyes again? Close your eyes again. Okay. When do I open Your guess, my, my only clue I'm giving to you is I'm pandering to you a little bit. Oh. 
I don't know, Resident Evil 1? Open your eyes. Oh, Fatal Frame! Now, it's Resident it's Evil 1 literally just said in the video <laughs> that she or I, uh, neither one of us had played I that know. all the way through. I just, I just thought, first survival horror, but then, you know what? No, I'll tell you in a second. Okay. The reason why I picked this one is because I am pandering to you because it is your genre. Yeah. You don't play enough original Xbox games. I played this one last year and I know you're going to like this. Okay. I guarantee you're going to like this. <laughs> last one. Okay. Is it the best for last? I don't know. Close your eyes. Okay, wait. You plug your ears. I can't plug my ears not to hear you. I'd have to go in okay. the neighbor's house. Okay, just don't look at me. She's giving her guess. I know I know you guessed this one. Okay. I know you guessed No, that. well, it's between two, but I kind of feel like this might be on there, but I just don't know. I just don't know. I just don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. Because there's one could be on there that I think you might pick. I just don't know. But that was my guess for the camera. When do I open my eyes? Open your eyes. Okay. Yeah. No? Yeah. Oh, you took it out of the fucking box. <laughs> See? <laughs> Stealthy. Yeah. <laughs> I was... I was maneuvering things, taking the. I took this one out of the box. I was like, yeah, yeah, and I replaced other things on shelves so it wasn't leaving empty spaces. Yeah. When I was walking around the room, when I was trying to find the game, I didn't move stuff around, and he probably knows I took that one there now. But um, I saw that the bottom of the case was there. I was like, fucking shocked he didn't pick it. Because he made me make a whole painting about it. Hmm. So I was like, what? You can probably you probably know why. I literally played that one last year. That's not what I told the camera. No? And what I told the camera, you didn't even put on the table. And I am shocked. Really? Yep. Do I get to know? You're gonna know in a second. Do you want me to tell you? Because yep. now I gotta make my guesses. Yeah, you make your guesses there. Alright. I can get rid of this thing. Yes, you can. So here we go. Hang on. I, I gotta put something away so Teddy doesn't eat it. I did guess two of the five. Guess two of the five. Two you of did five. worse this time. I did worse this time. Okay. Yeah, what were your surprises? Uh, this one. Panzer Dragoon. Yes. Panzer Dragoon Orta. Now, you know what? That was almost my third guess. And then I was like, oh no. You didn't put that on there? Nope. I put, oh no, he'll put this one. And I said at the camera, Parasite Eve. Kind of surprised you didn't put it on there. The reason why I didn't put that one in there is because you've seen the game played all the way through. Twice. Twice, because I've played it and she's watched. Yeah. So. Yeah. I get it. I yeah. get it. Uh, obviously, those it's were the two. It's going to take some joy out of it if you already know everything that's coming and you're just kind of yeah. walking through it. And, yeah. You know. I want this to be a first time experience and hopefully you'll enjoy the pick as much as I do. Yes. Uh, obviously those were the two. Those two those were on two the picks. list. Yeah. It was, those were obvious to yep. me. Um, this should have been more, uh, like I said, that one I almost you put on. You didn't have that on the list? It didn't have that on the you list. You know how much I love that uh, one. I know. I know, but you played that so, it was the fact that you played these that two. That was just last year, wasn't it? Or the year before? I know, but they weren't on my radar. Yeah. Uh, I know how much you love this one, so five years could go by and I'd still pick that you picked yeah. that one on yeah. the list. And I knew that one would be, and I, and I almost put that one. These two, that one was like a complete out of. Well, you told, I had four on the list and she told me, make five. Five's a nice round number. Five's an odd number. And you five picked, not a you round picked number. five? Some so people, I had to go for a fifth. And that was the fifth? Yeah. Okay. And now I have to try to guess which one you picked for me? No, I'm going to tell you. Okay. Do I close my eyes? Close your eyes. Okay. So by the sound of the thing I picked up off the table. Chrono Trigger. Whoa. I'm scared. For all the same reasons that she picked Alice Madness Returns. I know. I am not pandering to you on the length of game, for sure. This is going to probably take you... 80,000 hours. I'm so scared. Because she's played... Before you guys tear <gasps> me apart in the fucking comments there, she played through Final Fantasy VII. She struggled at times. But then once she finally finished it, 
We have video would... of her absolutely in like this euphoria of like yeah. joy that she couldn't believe. Yeah. So this is. Can I tell you why I'm scared? Why are you scared? How many times did you complain about not being able to find your way around the map in the boat? You were this like, This is ah. my. This was my first <clears throat> RPG. Okay. And I've already played it, so. I'm scared. You have questions. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. So take that over there then. I'm just going to say I'm scared, but I'm not surprised that's what he picked. Uh, when you lifted it off the table, it felt like. It felt like this. Felt like that? Yeah. Did you lift that at the same time? No. No, okay. It felt like the edge now, of that. That's why I said My second here. pick was would've Lunar. Been, been I that. knew it was. And not because. I thought you might pick this one because you told me it was very. Uh, no, I'm not picking one. I'm friendly. not picking one over the other. I just think this one would be a lot more beginner more friendly. More enjoy. I, yeah, it's. I think they're and both I'm happy beginner you friendly. Didn't but pick I, this there's one? aspects of this game that you would love. Artistic one. I'm happy you didn't pick that one because I really want to play it on the DS and I started playing it on the DS. Uh, and I would like to play it on the DS because I think I have a better chance of enjoying it because I like handheld gaming lately. It's just, mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. So, all right. Those all are right. some pretty solid picks by old Scott A. Yep. Okay. So, this I'm, is Jen's retro picks. Yeah. Close your eyes, I guess. How about I do this? Yeah. All right. All right, look. Yes. Oh. You know how much I love handheld games. <laughs> <sighs> that I really struggled picking this one. And anybody who says that's not retro, it will be this year because this system is 20 years old now. So I'm just uh, saying, DS is 20 years old. You know, I was saying she was going to have a hard time picking five retro games and like People are laughing right now. No, because this system is ah. 20 years old. Retro is 20 years. In the comments. Do you think it's modern or retro? <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's on the list. Anyways, it's on the list. <laughs> it was my one of my top three games this year. Yeah. And it is a phenomenal Castlevania. This is why I picked that for you, because I know how much you like Symphony of the Night. Love Symphony of the Night. And you loved Bloodstained, Ritual of the Night. And Portrait of Ruin. You played Bloodstained. You played Bloodstained. Why am I drawing a blank? The blood, fucking Bloodstained. I did not play Bloodstained. Oh. Dennis did. Dennis played Bloodstained. Well, then that might have been on the list if he... I, I forgot he didn't play it. <laughs> Don't even know me. I thought you played that one, too. <laughs> well, I think you will eventually play that one, so... I'll get around to it. Yeah, okay. Anyways, this is really really great game and I know he doesn't love handheld but I really want him to so all right, all right. I'm feeling stupid about bloodstained <laughs> all right open your eyes Silent Hill 3 are you surprised yeah okay I can't remember if you played Silent Hill 1 or I might have put that one. I haven't played any of the Silent okay, Hills. Okay, I thought. Shh. I haven't played any of the Silent Hills because typically it's not a genre that I like. It's a puzzle solving horror game. Yes. Okay. So, <laughs> 1 and 2 are kind of linked. They're not kind of linked. They're linked. So I was like, well, if I can't pick 1 and I pick 2, that seems stupid. So let's pick 3. Because 3 kind of strays off, it will strays from that maiden character. Is it one story? Like no, because one, two, it's three? a different person's story in okay. this one. So it wouldn't have mattered. Am I going to play one, games in a sequel? That one out of two. Insane. Like if I would have made you play two and not one first, that would have been stupid. Playing three is, it's a completely different so character. So far your retro choices are kind of like, wah, wah. There. Yeah. Silent Hill 3 is a great game. It's a great game. And it's not overly puzzle heavy. And it doesn't ruin anything from 1 and 2 for you. So okay. if you want to go back and play them, you can. Hot take. I'm on the fence whether I like one or 2 or 3 more. I'm just saying that one of the criteria for picking games was it's something that you think I was going to like. I do think you'll like this. <laughs> and you don't pick horror games for I don't, yourself. Not, not so typically, yeah. You picked me an RPG and something I would never pick in Spider-Man. Uh, so I'm saying. Because I, I think you'll like them. I still think you'd like Silent right. Hill 3. Okay. So. Sure. Okay. We 
<laughs> okay, go. Not surprised. No, it's actually not the game I'm picking for him. It's a fill-in because I didn't have, I didn't know where my EverDrive was, and I thought you had it, and I couldn't ask you, and I forgot to check that Nintendo. I thought it was in the other Nintendo. Where is the EverDrive? It's in the Nintendo. Okay, well, it wasn't in the other Nintendo. Well, it's with the stack of Nintendo games. Okay, well, I couldn't find it, so we're missing an EverDrive. It's called EverDrive. Um, this is meant to be a fill-in for Sweet Home. Next on the list, this is the one he probably knows about. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Godelka. Yeah. Also not surprised. Yeah. Were you surprised by any of these? First two. First two? Yeah. Okay. This one? In either format? <laughs> that, one in, that one in both formats. <laughs> this is me pandering to you. Because it is turn-based, it has a little bit of tactics in it, which yeah. you really haven't played yet. True. And I was like, ooh, that would be cool. Um, it is tough. It was tough for me, but I don't think it'll be as tough for Scott. So I'm, I'm kind of banking on the fact that I think he would enjoy this of all of them on the table so far. So although Sweet Home is in his wheelhouse too, but it's also throwing horror in there, and that's why Kadelka is also on the table. It's not okay. RPG, but it's also horror. Okay. Right? Okay. Last one. Last one. Cold Fear, really? Mm -hmm. I loved Cold Fear. Yeah? Yeah. I think you're going to have to fatal frame it and bump the, um, the uh, contrast or the brightness up brightness on, the on, TV, the TV. on the TV. Yep. Wish I would have done that because it would have made it a lot better for me. The controls are a little bit dated, but it is a fantastic it's very much Resident, Resident Evil, Evil kind of clone on a boat. So that's why I picked that. Um, so yeah, uh, there was other ones I could have picked. I really struggled with not putting Donkey Kong Country 2 on the list, but I didn't because I didn't think Scott would enjoy it. I no, did not put Super Mario 2 on the list because I did not think Scott would enjoy it, but I thought it would be funny if it was a fill-in for Sweet Home. Because it's on my guest list. Oh. Yeah, I don't like that. Beat no, I would never that. do that to you. I would never do that so to you. So here's my guest list. Okay. Super oh, Mario huh? 2, <laughs> you Sweet got Home, Kadelka. You got three out of two on this list. Yeah. Yeah. I got three out of two? Three out of five. Kind Sorry. Of is that? <laughs> yeah. So... Yeah. Do you know which one you're picking? I. Here? Yeah, I think. You think? I think. Phone a friend. Oh man, it's so hard. No, it's hard. Okay, it's just Kudelka. <laughs> Kudelka? Yeah. Okay, right, cool. Did you think it was going to be Sweet Home? I thought it was going to be Sweet Home. I. But then when you started pulling these things out there, I'm like, really? Yeah. Really? Well. Dennis is the Silent Hill guy. He is. He loves Silent he Hill. He does. Yeah. We got the Silent Hills for Jen. Mm -hmm. I've seen Jen play them. I'm probably never going to play them. Yeah. Well, I wanted to put Silent Hill 3 on there because I really, really did enjoy it. Um, I really did enjoy Cold Fear. It's a shame that I feel like you probably will never play the Castlevanias because they're handheld unless you can get them in an Maybe. HD collection on consoleized. Uh, eventually. That's what I'm thinking. That's how I think you'll want to play can, them. Can you guys hear that? He's playing with something the, that puppy dog chewing on something. Yeah. Um, I did not get the best ending in this game. I got the good ending. The good ending. I got the good ending. Okay. It would make me pleased as punch if he could get the good, get the great ending, the best ending. How do you get the best ending? Because I don't go into my, <clears throat> especially my it's, RPGs. Trying to, you know, like following a walkthrough. I don't, yeah. No, if I'm following a walkthrough, I'm just struggling to get through. Yeah, the damn it's game. not really a follow walkthrough game. No? The, yeah, I I looked up stuff here and there, but I don't remember like having to follow a walkthrough. It's just that I wasn't 
maybe I wasn't leveled up enough or I wasn't doing things the right way. And then when I looked it up, it said the good ending's actually the best ending as far as the story goes. I was like, yeah. sold. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm done trying to get the best ending. You were just happy to get an ending. I was just happy to get an ending. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy with the picks, what but I'm a Jen little bit scared. What should Jen play first? Yes, what should Scott and play first? Put in the comments, our first picks. First pick. S Scott should play modern or retro. Yeah. Jen should play modern or retro, that first pick. And which game, like you guys know us, you watch the videos, which games were you surprised we didn't name? Were you surprised that Grandia wasn't on there? Were you surprised that Scott didn't really hate me and put like, Mike Tyson's punch out on there. See, I wasn't going <laughs> to do that to her. I wasn't going to no, put a I game know. that I know she can't beat. Uh, <laughs> quite frankly, yes. Uh, I think uh, this is uh, the uh, intro. Uh, 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 no, it's fucking terrible. I have to edit these fucking videos, you fucking <laughs> bunch of fucks. <laughs> <laughs> I really think that's the intro, though. <laughs>